You're looking at 85 pence for a kilogram of onions. Of course, they're cheap onions. Except in the States, you're looking at an equivalent of three pounds and 79 pence. We're looking at four. I've never paid three dollars for um an onion, y'all. Not an onion. Y'all, we get the bag of onions. A bag is about three pounds for us. Yes, and it lasts a whole month. And we cook a lot. What's good, y'all? It's the Machettes React, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, baby? Today we're back with another American reaction. Yes, yes. Super excited about this video, guys. If you're new to us and, and we're new, new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 100. Okay, and we cannot get there without you guys. All right, join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Is it bog? Is that, can I say bog? Bog standard. So, so I'm currently standing here at a bog standard British supermarket that is a Sainsbury's, the local edition, uh, because this is a place where a large percentage of the British people are currently going to buy their groceries. And with the cost of inflation on the rise, with the cost of literally all goods going up more and more and more, I wanted to see what is the cost of an average shop at your local store in the UK and possibly compare it to how our friends across the pond in America are currently doing with their grocery shops. So without further ado, Let's get some food. I heard some shade. All right, so <laughs> I am finally back. Oh, he did the shopping. Okay, I thought we were going to look at the numbers deal in, in the store. Yeah, Using, of course, it. a reusable bag from Morrison's because I care about the environment. So bag. today we're mm. going to be looking at, like I said, the difference in price between the standard groceries mm. you can get in the UK versus the US. Having So he sound like a lot of y'all in the comment section. Okay. So I wonder how this video is going to go. We have openly shared how we shop. We shop in bulk because right. nobody got time to be going to the grocery store every day. Trips. Okay, yeah. we got kids. Facts. So yeah. let's see what he got to say. <laughs> Grown up in the U.S. and spending, to this point, the majority of my life there, I'm pretty well aware of what prices things normally are. And from my experience, I always felt like it was always more expensive to just buy groceries than it was to get a takeaway or a delivery or something like that. But no, we hey, that. depends on what you're getting. And I think the data will speak for itself Wait, pretty much. Up. And if you are new here, hi. He's my saying that it, it costs us more to He's talking about fast buy food. food. No, he talked maybe fast food, but he said it costs more to get groceries than it, than it do to just pick up a fast food dish. Oh, no. It don't cost more to get You're groceries. You're going to spend more in the long run right. when you do fast food instead right. of spending in bulk for what you need for the month or two months. And right. then you get to go like that. Right. Because how we shop, we shop in bulk because we our children love to eat. We like to eat. You know, so we never want to be without food. And especially because we live in areas that have, you know, natural disasters and, you know, electricity may be out. You just want to be stopped. Yeah, you got to have um, that on deck. When you buy, like, let's say meat. If we buy a big pack of meat, we could use half of that meat for one meal and another half for another meal. Right, so right. it's like... That's better than going to, let's say, a chicken place and spending. Oh, yeah. What? Set. Ten dollars on a meal. Fifteen, maybe. Fifteen. Thirteen. Let's go thirteen dollars on a good meal. If you really trying to eat right. Thirteen dollars on a good meal. Okay. If you went to the store, you could have picked up a five dollar pack of meat. Mm -hmm. You could either pick up some potatoes. The the pounds that we get, how many pounds? I think it's five pounds of uh potatoes. Around there. No. I think it's 10 pounds of... To, I, I don't know. know. It's, it's a bag of potatoes. It costs $5. Yeah. I know. <laughs> um, so, how, where we at? $5, $5, $5, that's 10 And a drink. Drink costs maybe $2. Like, a drink that you'll keep refilling. Yeah. $2. So, how much is that? 12 About 12 It's better than going and get fast food. We but that, that adds like up. Food. You can stretch that out. Yeah, it adds up. You can stretch out a meal more. compared to buying uh, fast food right. back to back. Because you're going to spend fast food money about two times a day probably. Three times. Yeah. Maybe three times if you're trying to eat and get your day going. We don't like fast food like that. Like, nah. And if it's not fast food, then I know them other brand restaurants, they're going to charge you. Yes. An American-born British YouTuber who likes making videos on interesting things. Also, he has a master's degree in actuarial science. I'm saying this because it explains my love for mathematics. Today's video is quite mathy. Let's dive on in. Also, if you like this style of content, please be sure to give that subscribe button a little toggle. Anywho, so 
groceries. In order to make this as fair as possible, I looked at two different stores in the US and two different shops in the UK, trying to make it as uniform as possible. I also made sure that certain items were judged by the price this per kilogram milk. as opposed to just the price. So that way, of course, if something was 550 grams and something was 300 grams, we can actually see the overall cost per kilogram and see which one was more expensive. Also using Google Spreadsheets' automatic conversion algorithms, I was able to make an entire column just for Americans to understand everything in the dollar value and also everything in pounds for Brits. Now in the UK corner, we're looking so at- So how do we not know if he made a shopping list to benefit his channel? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Oh, this is the same item, but we know this one costs more, so I'm gonna buy this one so I can show them that this costs less for y'all location, like. Yeah, and, and this is not know. us hating. No, this is not. not. It's just being, you know. It's, I feel like because we've been parents for such a long time, we shop in bulk, so we we not just some people just put it in the bag. Mm -mm. No, 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 I can't nah. do that. We actually look at the prices, and that's the way we shop. So this is going to be interesting to see. This is not us hating. It's just we understand the way that people in um, Britain shop mm -hmm. is totally different from the way we shop and different reasons behind that. Some people enjoy going to grocery shops every, well, y'all have shops, we have stores, whatever the Some people shop shop. every day. For that yeah. one day to get they they I can't. In. I'm I'm a, I'm gonna go crazy. I got things to do. I have a life. I cannot be in a store every day or every week. But again, that just works for you know people's scheduling. Everybody right. got different schedules. Right. Sainsbury's slash Tesco, because I believe these are pretty middle-of-the-line shops. And okay. also, they're all over the entirety of the UK. In the US, we're looking at an Acme slash ShopRite. What is that? If you're American going, I've never heard of those. I'm fairly certain there aren't any fully national grocery food chains in the States. Walmart. There might have some that are Maybe like taking Walmart. up a huge majority sure of the that. West Coast or East Coast, like Safeway or Trader Joe's and whatnot. But I'm using no. my Jersey heritage. So we're going with Shop. Okay, he's from Jersey, but... Shoprite. Shoprite. I feel like I've heard of Shoprite. We have Shoprite. Shoprite is the one that don't give you bags, right? No, I don't think I never. Man, That's I can't tell the last time I shopped at Shoprite. I don't even know what an Acme is. No. I thought that was a, a movie theater. <laughs> I, I I'm don't serious. Know. I don't know. Like again, and we had a moment like this where they had um we did a video similar to this, and somebody was in the comic section talking about y'all never heard of this brand before, y'all never heard of this story before. Yeah. Like no, we don't have it out here. No. Like. Period. I feel and like we're not educating ourselves on different rest uh grocery stores out the country because us. <laughs> where they do that at? Like who right. thinking about that? You know what I'm saying? Right. I feel like here everybody would either shop at Walmart, Kroger, Target. For groceries? Man, I haven't seen people with full baskets coming out of Target. With like with meat and stuff? Hey, they do that. See, I would go get the snacks, but I That's, don't yeah. uh, They shopping them. They shopping it. I guess. Uh like Trader Joe's, that was new to us moving to Texas. Um, I feel like Walmart is more mainstream because there's a Walmart everywhere. Yeah. Well, okay. We starting off kind of bad. Up right and <laughs> all right. I split this up into a couple different sections with the standard groceries. We got fruit and veg, and then we got some meats and other things like that. In the UK, you can expect to spend about one pound twenty for your standard loaf, no fancy, no seeds of bread. In the US, the equivalent cost in dollars is three dollars and eighty-four cents, or in pounds, that's three pound thirty-two. A two point. I'm in, I'm in the grocery store, and I'm going through this right now. And this, I, th that, I didn't that see is this us. coming. I that didn't see this us. coming. That is us. That is us. Because one thing Sierra going to do is save a dollar, baby. Mm. I'm not even going to put it up. I feel like that's going too extra. But no, I never spent $3 if I didn't want to. Yeah. Um, Our bread that we get is $2.49. Now, the bread that I, I purchased for my grandmother, you know, when I sent her groceries, she tried to get the most expensive bread, and I'm like, baby, we're gonna get this. <laughs> so we're gonna just go ahead and go off what we shop yeah, by? Yeah, we know. I, I don't know about the list. I ain't buying no bread for $3. I'm just I ain't buying. spending. That's not even $3. That's not even after taxes. That's $4 bread, basically. Dealing with Dion alone, the bread is gonna be gone by the end of the night. You know how we do Seven it. Seven times increase over the cost of a single loaf of bread for the same equivalent grammage in the UK. <laughs> grammage.
My grandma bought this loaf of bread and it was 2.7 times more expensive back in her day. Porridge oats or oatmeal, standard okay. kilogram box of porridge oats is gonna cost you about one pound 95 in the UK. Get you a nice amount of porridge. In the US, that's four pound 71, the equivalent of $5.45 for a kilogram ah, of oatmeal. It ain't that high. It's not that high. It ain't that they have high. different sizes and by the base of this, by the look of this, uh, is that a box? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but that's it looks like it's the same brand, look like, huh? Yeah, but that's a box, though. Again, we they got the oatmeal? boxes, they got the cartons, and they got the different levels of the uh, uh, of um the size that you want to get it for. Okay, so this is the, the brand oatmeal that we buy. And another thing you have to keep in mind, if it's a different store, the prices are going to be different. Right, right, so, right. So, that's a 42 ounce... And this is this is not a forty two ounce. Hold on. Do we even sell forty two ounce? I don't think. <laughs> Could be. No, not in do. that brand. No, not in that brand. Okay, well this is okay, here it goes. Okay. <clears throat> this is a forty two ounce of that oatmeal. Hold on, y'all. Cause I just cause we be we be saying actual things that we go through here, and people be like, "Y'all lying. Y'all should just move. Y'all making up excuses." No, this is real. Can y'all see that? Ah, oh, dang it, babe. Can you help me? I don't know what you. Maybe dim the lights on. The light dim. Oh, it it kind of came out. Is the yeah? That's it. it. I, think, I think I think it shows. Well, it's at the top, and it says five sixty eight. Yeah. So it depends on the store as well. That's higher than that. Higher than what? And what is one well, this pound? Is, this is four forty nine. One pound is still cheaper. Yeah. So okay. Over we get, we two get times more here. expensive for this standard grocery. Next up, we've got cornflakes. These exist in both countries. No crazy oh cereals. No, we're not talking about any like this, Jolly this Rancher or Sour Patch Kids the cereal sugar. in the U.S. Standard oh, cornflakes okay. again in the right. U.K. Of course, if you. Want. I love Frosted Flakes. That's the knockout. Oops, sorry. <laughs> That's the brand that don't have the sugar on it. I got to okay. get the one with the sugar on it. So with the sugar, the blue box, the Frosted Flakes, not the corn, Frosted, yeah. we got a different budget for that because, right. and we have the, uh, I wonder if you're going to show the similar one to this one. Let's see. Because if you show the similar to that one, I want to see what the price is. A big box of this terrible anti-masturbatory cereal. Let's it's going to cost you two pounds. It's pretty standard. It's cornflakes. You're not paying much for cornflakes. In the U.S., it is £5.59. $6.46 for a box of cornflakes. Uh -uh, cornflakes. This is one of those that I, I was I've like, is it really that expensive? I've never seen a box that pricey unless it's a family size. Yeah, and even then it's $4 and yeah, something. Yeah, and that just tax out to 5 but that's not... I've never seen the cornflakes But, I much. mean, it's the stores that he chose. I've never shopped at those type of stores. I'm not... Yeah. For some groceries, I just need quality. Nah, that's it. Quality. That's it. I don't know I'm eating straight, healthy, you know what I'm saying? Y'all yeah. gonna get on me. You were just talking about all that sugar. <laughs> And then I remembered, yes, I loved cereal growing up in the States, and I always expected to pay about $4.50 for a small box or for the cornflakes, oh, something like that size. That's the best About size. six bucks. That's family so, size. Yeah, family whew, size. I just didn't realize how much I was really saving on groceries living in the UK, on basic things. Moving on, we got 500 grams of rice. This one was actually quite close. Only 10% more expensive in the what US. Kind of Still more expensive, but what you know. Kind of See, and that's another thing, and that's See, why I we- I don't wanna be all in the camera <laughs> like, what kind of rice is? And that's, that's why we always make sure y'all understand our perspective. We're not just a couple living on our own. We are children yeah. who eat. Nah, the rice we get is $5 for 10 pounds. I don't know what how many pounds is this? Two I don't pounds. Know. I'm not about to buy no two pound rice for those six dollars. No, he's trying to be he's trying to be back. That? He's trying to pull up the next day. Said, That's, you gonna go cook like maybe yeah, two dishes two, with that two, two pounds. Meals. And we eat a lot of rice dishes. Yes, yeah, so I don't know about this different type of rice. I've never heard habits. of this type of rice either. Yeah, so. different shopping. Y'all look, y'all give good. me a That's headache. Good. <laughs> 1.26 times more expensive in the States for the equivalent amount of butter. Moving oh, on to four pints of whole milk. If you're wondering why I'm measuring four pints of whole milk, the UK is an absolutely batshit measuring thing in which they go somewhat metric and then they go back to imperial, but in a weird way where they, instead of just saying a gallon or quartz or something like that, they just go with four pints. Might as well just say eight cups. I don't know, half gallon, ring a bell anyone, two quarts, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Either way, so the equivalent amount of milk 
a standard thing that most well, people pick up it. during their grocery yes, shop. We're looking at three pound ten in the U.S. Yet again, more than double that the U.K. amount right. of one pound forty-five. Switching over to dollars, that's the equivalent of paying a dollar sixty-eight for a half gallon of milk. So far, we've not really seen any big W's coming out the U.S., but that's about to change with cheddar cheese. Five hundred fifty grams? No. Actually, uh, very close though. Only 16% more expensive in the States. See, that's so that expensive cheese. You could, you could write that off as a little bit of variance. That's oh, fine. Man. A dozen yeah, medium eggs, two pounds, going on. a dozen <laughs> versus <laughs> three pounds and two pence in the States. Well, so my standard dry good groceries, it looks yeah. like the UK Ooh. is a resounding win with a significant decrease in the price of groceries. Now, moving on yeah. to fresh fruit and veg. First up is an onion or rather onions per kilogram. Per kilogram, you're looking at 85 pence for a kilogram of onions, of course, they're cheap onions. Except in the States, you're looking at an equivalent of three pounds and 79 pence. We're looking at four- I've never paid $3 for um an onion, y'all. Not an onion. Y'all, we get the bag of onions. A bag is about three pounds for us. Yes, and it lasts a whole month, and we cook a lot. It lasts, okay? Nah, he, uh, and it's like three sixty nine, I believe the price is, mm. for a bag. You mean to tell me one onion? It's $4, basically. See, that's the stores we stay away from. This what our taxes, yeah. Mm -mm. I think he said you from Jersey, huh? Yeah. That's how y'all shopping in Jersey? Yeah. I don't know about that. It's cringing. That, that, Point mm. four six times the price. Nearly four and a half times more money for a bag of onions. And it gets worse if you only want, want to buy a couple onions. I knew this because when I visited the States in February, I wanted to buy one onion for a dish and it cost a one dollar. Onion. I've never for one onion. onion. In the UK, that's the equivalent of buying a whole kilogram of them. It's, it's, it's crazy. And then finally, we get our first W, USA. We went on the tomatoes, okay? We got some vine fresh tomatoes. The US pays 17% less. Hell yes. Now, to be fair, this is a bit of an outlier because this is coming from a New Jersey location. And New Jersey right. is known for our Jersey fresh tomatoes. The best tomatoes you can get anywhere in the world. So you'd think because they're so incredibly good and delicious in the garden state, they'd be more expensive, but no, everyone's growing them. We got them all over the place. So congrats, we got cheaper mm -hmm. tomatoes. Next up, pink lady apples, the creme de la crap. Uh, yes, another win for the US. How much? 2% cheaper, but we this, will take our w. Now bananas per kilogram so are 78 pence in the UK. You can buy them for, at uh, this point, freaking 30 pence per. But I digress. For the US, it's not that bad. At one pound 12 is the equivalent amount. So only one and a half times more expensive. I'm saying only, but that? at this point, these are all starting to add up. And this one blew me away the most. A kilogram of carrots will set you back 45 pence, nearly 50 cents. <laughs> However, in the US for that equivalent, you're paying one pound 88. Yet again, over four times the cost. For carrots. And at this point, yeah, so for all the fruits and vegetables, some of them are organic grown. Some mm -hmm. people have grown them in farms and mm -hmm. things of that nature. So they're all going to be different. Yeah. No matter where you're at. Like, yeah. that's 100% fair. And when it comes to your produce, you don't have to shop at a regular grocery store. You right, can right. go to the farmer's market. There's and get a, it for cheap. Right. There's a farmer's market every Saturday in almost every city. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's a good way to to help the, the farmers um, in your local area. Um, so you don't have to get your produce from a grocery store, but we do purchase our uh, produce um, from grocery store because kind of just time for us. And the apples are expensive. Apples do be expensive. But I mean, like... But they got so many different brands of apples. Right. So There's like, so many different brands. You have options. You don't have to just choose this one one brand of apple, carrot, butter. Like, there's... right. Options. Options. That's what I love. You know, and I know a lot of people um, feel some type of way about Walmart, but for me, I ain't got the type of money to just go get high nah. quality everything. I mean, nah. Even if, even when I do that, get that type of money, I'm I'm not. I'm not going to get the high quality everything I'm getting. What works? Even the bread at the very beginning, like if you go on the I think he grabbed the most expensive <laughs> bread that they have. <laughs> Because you see all sorts of bread types, yes. right? But not many of them are sitting at that high price value. Mm -hmm. all, all the other ones is like right there around the medium. So right. I think he's getting the high price ones. I don't know. Well, he's shopping at a... You said that cheese was expensive. That cheese was too expensive. Man. And you can argue with, with more people. And so therefore we have more demand. But I, for some reason, I feel like something else is afoot here as well. Like it's, it just seems wild that 
All of this is more expensive, except of course the Jersey Fresh and the apples. Next well, we'll up, standard Jersey, raisins. Really? Standard bag of raisins are two times more expensive in the U.S. A cucumber, one and a half times more expensive. A same thing for a can of chopped tomatoes, one and a half times more expensive. A kilogram of potato. Bro, uh, I'm, I'm gonna rewind. I gotta look at that pace one more two time. Two times more expensive in the U.S. A cucumber, one and a half times more expensive. A same thing for a can of. Excuse me, y'all. I'm gonna get close here. <laughs> Two dollars for a can of hunts? Yeah, it is that around that price. The that, big can? The big one? Bro, they well, have how many ounces options. is that? You know, I think yeah. he's really matching the Let me see. This is 20 ounces. This one is Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that's. I feel like it's around there, but when you <laughs> my phone too. When now. we have places like oh, Amazon mm -hmm. that allows us to buy purchase it in bulk, mm -hmm. which I just did for our right, last right. Uh, grocery haul, it's not that expensive. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying so, when you can buy it in bulk, then you're really not even spending the same amount. Like you're spending less actually. Right. No, no, that's fit. That's fi that's fifth no. <laughs> it just don't match. I don't it know don't how match. he came up with this, but this We're gonna have to take y'all shopping with us. Yeah. <laughs> so y'all can know how to shop. Man. There's an chop tomatoes. I feel like how y'all be feeling on some videos, y'all you know what I'm saying, our supporters be like, Y'all, the person I just reacted to didn't tell y'all a lick of truth. <laughs> Everything was a blur, like Yeah. I feel like we had we just because a person is American doesn't mean that they speak for all Americans. We do not speak for all Americans. No, we don't. <clears throat> um, he showed stores that we haven't heard of. And I feel like I've heard of ShopRite, but I don't recognize that logo. And this is this was only five months ago. So maybe it's a whole different type of ShopRite. And I, I just feel like we have a lot... A vi variety yeah, and we do. different stores have their own prices. Different stores have their own prices. That's yeah. a bar. Yeah. It was one and a half times more expensive. A kilogram of potatoes, potatoes are so cheap. A, a kilogram bag is 83 pence in the UK. The US is three and a half times more expensive. For We're looking at many? over $3 for a kilogram of potatoes. Ew, Lord have that. mercy. We did have two wins for this section of sell to 12 ounces of a potato so when i go shopping there's an option <laughs> on the kiosk that says yeah. that do you want this organic potato do you want this normal regular <laughs> potato or do you want the little red potato and then like you can budget the potato that you want by the luxury right. of it so right. it's an art to shopping you have to master it there you is. can't just go in and start oh butter cheese there's an art okay like the meat when you go in there, they sell the meat by pounds. Mm -hmm. So you may see, well, one pack of meat. You have two packs of meats, right? One may be for ten ninety nine. One may be for eight ninety nine. Right. Same pack of meat. Right. What happened? We don't know. We're going for the one that's eight dollars. Yeah. Like so, yeah. as the same with him. He, like he might see the one the same. Like vice mm -hmm. versa. And I think people just shop differently. You shop based on your family dynamics. Yeah. Fresh fruit and veg, but now I think there might be a bit more perspective here on why there's so much processed foods in the U.S. Because if you can believe it, a lot of those are a lot cheaper than buying all of these fresh vegetables. Just buy a box, add a couple things to it, bon appetit. You save a bit of money, not as good for you. And finally, our last section here is going to be the meat of the video. The meat. Going into this, I really expected the U.K.'s to be more expensive for meats. Because God, is it expensive to buy standard mincemeat and chicken and such at the local stores. But mincemeat, holy crap. One pound 69 for the UK equivalent weight. Five pound 99, holy three and a half times yeah. for meat. I, wow. I don't know how much I'd eat meat if it was that expensive, to be honest with you. Chicken breast, 650 grams, 1.3 times more expensive in the US. Okay, that's not so bad considering mincemeat was that that's big. That Smoked bacon, very close, oh, very rest. close. <laughs> Nearly one to one, 250 versus 256. That can change depending on how far the pound has been dropping recently. So if we were to add all these up, the cost of your total grocery shop in the UK would be 48 pounds and 88 pence. Whereas the US equivalent is 88 pounds and 69 pence. Over a hundred dollars for a- Now I do be going in the stores. I do be going in the stores and I'd be like, how is punch 60? And I'll be asking you the same thing. Well, I came in here for just some heavy cream and 
Like, yeah. A piece of bar candy. Yeah, that's all. yeah. So you, y'all know that <laughs> meme of where the, the husband has to call the wife as soon as he gets in the store? That's us. Because Dion, baby, he's going to shop like he's in the UK. Like I said, there's an art to this. And when you master it, you don't have to spend as much. You don't have to spend over your budget. Now, because I'm a mom and I know other moms, I know other moms shop similar similar to what I shop. Right, right. And everybody that I know shop in bulk because we have children. And our children eat. And we want to make sure that our children have more food to eat at a cheaper cost. And that's possible, especially with stores like Sam's Club, Costco, um, you know, all of the stores that have bigger, um, you can buy things in bulk for less. Winco. Win- well, Winco is not on the level of Costco and Sam's in Club. In a good way or but bad way? Winco- bulk. Oh, in bulk? Like, okay, yeah, I got gotcha. you. But Winco, we discovered Winco when we moved to Texas, baby, game changer. Okay, even less. Food for less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking. So it just depends on where you shop, what you're shopping for, who you're shopping for. It right. And on- I had uh, moments where I would probably go get like an energy drink. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? One location may be 99 cents. The other one may be $3. And I've right. seen the same even, even inside thing. of gas stations. You feel me? So it's like all different prices. It's the same thing. Okay. Facts. Same thing. Standard grocery shop. Which blows me away. Back when I used to shop at Little all the time, Mm -hmm. I would marvel at how many things I'd shove in my cart and it would still come out to just about 20 quid. And I was like, hell yes. But Jesus, I just can't imagine a standard grocery shop being $100. Of course, this is just a couple samples taken. It's not like a sample across all of the US and all of the UK. And sure, if you're always used to paying 1.8 times what the UK is, you're not necessarily going to notice as big a difference. You don't have anything to compare it to necessarily while you've always been in the US. But sales tax is also a thing in quite a few states. 13 states actually charge their citizens tax on basic groceries. Tennessee charges 4%. So that $100 shop has an extra $4 tacked on top that you aren't really probably budgeting for. And then that adds up every single shop. (laughs) What the, why have I just changed flannels? All right, this was up. Go check out the video. He's not completely wrong, but for us living, he's from Jersey, that's up north. Us living down south, those are not our prices. Right. But inflation has impacted that. Yep. Hopefully it goes down, child, and we go back to $3 eggs and yeah. not $6. Or just go get your own here. Right. Better yet, just budget the best that fits for your house. Right, You know right. what I'm saying? Because that's what we do. We budget everything from bills to food yep. to trips to yep. clothing. Like, everything matters when it comes to budgeting. Yep. So you yep. have a more satisfied left lifestyle and not have to stress behind someone telling you that it's more expensive if you shop in this location. Yes, because I don't see us ever shopping $50 groceries for a family of five. <laughs> I've never bought cheese for six, seven dollars in my life. And we have a story time of, you know, way back in our day. Way back in our day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're um, going with this. When we used to budget. have $25 groceries. Yep, we do the budget. Because we didn't videos. have no other choice but to have that. That's all the money we had left over right. after paying our bills. So uh, that Stretch was, it out. Yeah, we stretched it out. We made it work. We ain't go hungry. Mm-hmm. That's one thing we ain't never do, baby. Come on, man. Talk we done struggled it. a lot before, but we never went hungry. Facts, facts. So, we hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Like this video, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super, super thanks. thanks if you like support the channel that way. As well as our join feature to become a VIP member of the channel. Send in your reaction request through our description box below. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.